Oh, uh, good morning, puppies. Wanna go outside? Yo, yo, yo! So, today, guys, today's video is a little bit different. I've been bringing you guys a bunch of teal hunting videos. I hope you guys are enjoying them. From the views, it seems like you guys certainly are. I wanted to let you guys know I have a fire, fire, fire teal video on the way. It should be up Saturday or Sunday. So be looking out for it. You guys are absolutely going to love it. Oh, but guys, like I said, today's video is a little bit different. And this one is near and dear to me. And it should be near and dear to each and every one of you being waterfowl hunters. Oh, welcome back to the Foul Friday old studio. So uh, today, guys, like I said, it's going to be a little more serious of a video. Uh, this is something that... Over the years of hunting, I have learned that it's way more important and it, and it deserves a lot more attention and credit than we give it. This is a sport that we all love to get out on the weekends and enjoy. Uh, not only us, but other, other people as well. So as most of you guys know and do yourself, uh, we usually don't go hunting by ourselves. It's usually a group of guys that goes duck or goose hunting. And that being said, at any time, you and your weapon, me and my weapon, can put me, but more importantly, someone else being, you know, someone's dad, my brother, my best friend, somebody's husband, somebody's wife, I can put their life in danger at the snap of a finger. And why I'm covering this is because this is a hobby. This is a sport, a hobby that we all love and enjoy, and, that's, and we need to keep it that way. And in order to keep it that way, the first and most important thing that we have to concentrate on is not shooting better, knowing how to sit your decoy spreads, and all the, you know, learning how to duck hole. None of that stuff that I've covered in the past. It is gun handling and gun safety and being aware of your fellow hunters at all times times. What makes this sport so much different than fishing or, or anything like that is that we are carrying loaded weapons at all times. They are weapons. They are guns. They can kill people. They can hurt people. What, what made me bring this up is because I know I've touched on, you know, how to shoot better and all that like I just stated, but this is something that all you guys need to take seriously right out of the gate. Gun handling and being aware, being conscious of your gun being on safety, especially while it's loaded obviously, in the blind, shoulder to shoulder to your buddies, is the most important and the first thing that you all should get good at and be conscious about at all times. So, I'm going to say it again, what made me think about doing this was last year there was an accident. And an accident occurred in the field, in the blind, with a client and a guide. I'm not going to go in, you know, into the logistics of who it was, where it was, who the victim was, and what happened. But all I can tell you is last year, you know, around this time when the season started, basically a gun fell over. in the blind and ended up shooting a guide you know somewhere it was somewhere in the torso region like I said I'm not gonna go into logistics but it was an accident it was a very simple accident that literally can happen to anybody at any time that that is a life-changing experience you know this sport the last thing any of you or I want to do that cricket is freaking loud. So a lot of, you know, this is just like a lot of the other tit videos. This is a reminder for some of you avid waterfowlers out there, but then this is a lesson for some of the new beginner waterfowlers on the channel, uh, because I know there's a lot of you. A lot of you have reached out to me saying, hey, this is my first year. Hey, this is my second year. Thank you for all your how-tos. You've taught me a bunch. Well, this, I can tell you, all you beginner guys, this is the most important thing. The most. We all know how crazy waterfowl hunting can get. You know, when you have a big group of birds come in, you just, everybody waylays them. Woohoo! Everybody's excited and going nuts. 
how crazy that can get at the snap of a finger and how complacent we can get with holding our, our loaded weapons. I know you guys know this, guys. I know. Believe me, I'm not trying to be your dad. I'm not trying to be the guy that is a Debbie Downer telling you what you need to do, that what you already know. All I'm saying is when you're done shooting at that group of birds, first thing, click that sucker back on safety. That is, you have to make it a knee-jerk reaction, guys. Have to. Because when everybody runs out of the blind to go pick up birds, what do you do? You sit your gun down, you lean it up against a tree, a blind, or something, and at any time that gun can fall over and go off. You know, crazy stuff can happen at any time. And guys, that's what happened last year uh, in that accident I told you about. No one planned that. I'm sure... Uh, I'm sure the person feels extremely guilty about it, which it was an accident. I'm sure it was an accident. If, if you're just starting hunting, I want you guys to really understand being a good hunter, you want to label yourself a good hunter, you want to become a good hunter, it starts with gun safety. Nobody wants to go and put their life at danger going with somebody to hunt that they can't trust. You should be able to trust all the buddies that you hunt with as well as they should trust you. We all have families, we all have children, we all have siblings, brothers, parents that don't want to see anything happen to us and we dang sure don't want to harm anybody's well-being. So please guys, when you're done shooting, throw that gun on safety. Don't click that gun off safety until you're ready to shoot. I know that you guys know this, but again, like I've said, this is just a reminder because I would absolutely hate any of you guys, any of my viewers of this channel, getting hurt in an accident. And like I said, this is the reason why I'm doing this video. I know, I know it's a monotonous video. I know this is something that you guys know. But it's just a reminder. That, that's all this is. It's just a reminder coming from me, from the heart. This is from the heart, guys. I can't, there's not one other subject about hunting that I could be more passionate about. I have children. I have a wife. I have a house to support, and by God, I want to come back to my family every time after the hunt to hug and kiss them just like you guys do. Oh, but I don't have much to add to that, guys. Uh, I was going to make this short and simple, straight to the point, and so it wouldn't be long, lengthy, and boring. I'm trying to uh, keep the hunting coming. I think I've already put out three hunting vids or three teal videos already this season. There's two more coming. One of them is re freaking ridiculous and you guys are gonna love it like i said if you guys haven't yet follow me on instagram it's my main social media that i manage the most so follow me here for all you guys wanting to be on pro staff i've been getting a lot of messages we still have it open we are still accepting pro staff applications we've handed out you know a good amount to you guys i know there's a i don't have the exact number what we've handed out pro staff so far but you guys have been kicking butt for us and I appreciate it. If you want to be on the pro staff and you haven't emailed yet, email us here. Shoot us an email. We'll email you back. We'll get you on the pro staff. And uh, yeah, we'll all have fun together. We actually just came out with our pro staff ducks shirt. The link will be in the description down below. Go check it out. I don't have one with me yet. They literally just hit the website and I haven't got them to my door yet. But when I do have one at my door, I will certainly show it to you guys in a video right off the get go. So be looking out for that. But you can go check it out on the website, link in description. Got our new hats ready. Boom, boom. We got these in white. We got them in black. We got like eight different options of colors. We got the normal ducks on the front and as well, this is my favorite hoodie. I just decided to take it off so you can see it. Look at this beauty. Oh my lord, got them cup ducks on there. Oh, really? What? Dude, clean. Go copy one. Link in description if you want one. Go check them out. But guys, I thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, drop me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to do that because it's lit. I have a bunch of hunts coming, a bunch of teal videos on the way gonna have some dove hunting vids coming going dove hunting saturday for the first time this year extremely pumped about that i'm not gonna talk anymore i'm gonna get off here thank you guys for watching peace yeah guala 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 i'm living like it's not tomorrow don't know my style won't let you borrow you're thirsty have a glass of water i'm killing these beasts that be more dead i put my